sell what you're passionate about. You, you, it's a hard job. It's being a frontline agent is really, really difficult these days. So if you're not talking about something that you're passionate about, that you enjoy, that you, you feel good traveling yourself and experiencing, it doesn't come across well. You know, if, if cruise is not your thing and you get green at the thought of going on a rocky ship, you're not going to be able to sell anybody a cruise. I mean, you might be able to, but you're not going to do it well and you're not going to make the experience as great as you could. Um, if cruising is your gig, then, then become a specialist in it and really promote yourself as a specialist. I think sometimes uh, travel agents fall in the trap of it's not worth my time. And I find in a lot of cases people are always judging that, saying it's not worth my time, it's not worth my time. And I think, again, it's in building a client base, it's really important that you invest the time in your clients and you really do the best you can so that you get rewarded long term down the road with repeat clientele. It's a lot of work to get a new client and to do all the work to convince them uh, to book with you. It's a lot easier to get them to come back to you. So I think after the first year, um, you should start seeing a lot of repeat business and you just need to make that investment in customer service and, and really not worry about the amount of time it takes in the beginning and to just do the best job you can for your client. I think the most important thing a travel advisor can do is just to be out there networking and talking about what we do. We are so fortunate that we sell something people love to talk about. So if anytime you've got four people gathered together, inevitably travel comes up. And as an advisor, we're so lucky to be able to say that's what we do.